Hello everyone, Renier Games here and welcome to episode 14 of the Diablo 20 Let's Play series. Uh, as you can see I've done a little working now actually, as I did get a little time yesterday uh, to actually build a little after the recording. So uh, I have pretty much built up all the rooms now and I also added glass on the roof, just like Diablo 20 and the reason why is I just felt like it got a little dark in here. so. That's gonna bring a little daylight in um, and catch me try swimming in lava and to escape silverfish, okay? <laughs> well, poor catch me. Um, oh, a zombie underneath us. I didn't. <laughs> uh, I am um, just laughing up him, rude of me, huh? Um, I didn't build underneath here because I didn't have that much time and he started building a warehouse. Okay, I apparently probably rendered him. I haven't really played that much over there yet. Um, so I haven't built uh, underneath there, but at least I've boxed and everything. So we should be safe and we should have no more annoying villagers going on our conveyor belts. So I don't think I've recorded that, but they they love the conveyor belts. So they love jumping on them and I get stuck. So uh, that is good. So added windows or glass roof all over the place. Uh, as you can see here too. And this one I raised up. So it's a little taller, so all the trees uh, have space to grow. And I just add a glass around and I've been melting so much stone and glass. I've been going crazy. And uh, over here I didn't add some uh, glass because I was a little unsure because this is not the traditional 9x9. Nine nine. Not this one either. So I just went for a 4x4. Four four. And was it two? Yeah, in between and a one line in the, there, yes. And... Um, yeah, just an empty room. This I have no clue what I'm going to use for, but it's this space. And uh, yeah, so everything is covered up. Again, underneath and everything, I haven't really been doing much. This one is full. <laughs> so uh, yeah, in this episode, uh, just like we said in the last episode, uh, I want to go to the nether. Uh, because I do want to get some blaze rods and so on because to continue on certain things on create you are actually going to be needing blaze for a blaze heater or something it could be that's later again too though but i just want to get it just so we have it and sticks i don't need that i just we're so good at cleaning my inventory here so we're going to keep it clean um should i i'm going to bring one stack of apples to just because we can and we're going to bring our jetpack, which is nicely stored there. Uh, bring one tank of uh, hydrogen. So we're going to make a little nether base. And we're going to bring the helmet. I'm going to put it on like that. Like all of those. Of course, we don't have an armored uh, jetpack. But I could see that one requires a little diamond and uh, stuff. And what is this? A plus hydrogen fuel jetpack to the mecha suit. A plus hydrogen fuel jetpack to the mecha suit. Oh, so you can add the jetpack to a, me a mecha suit. Ah, we're going to be looking into mecha suits later on then, because that would be cool. Uh, but yeah, we were having this one, and uh, I did actually get in the last comment, um, uh, last video, I mean, a comment about the auto runner, a free runner, I mean, uh, apparently uh, prevents... Um, uh, fall damage, I think. So it would be nice, of course, having it, but uh, I guess I'm gonna make that off camera. I kind of just forgot about it, but I'm gonna make that off camera. We're gonna try our best to survive without it. And uh, I don't know if we should sleep or not. We don't really need to sleep, so I guess Sebastian can choose himself if he wants daylight or nighttime. Um, maybe good to hunt some Endermen. I'm not sure how far he's gotten really, but. That's up to him then. <laughs> okay, so uh, without wasting more time, we're going to the nether, yes, uh, there. But again, I was that was what I was thinking. Because I do believe we need to capture a blaze. As you can see this, we need a blaze burner. But I do believe you need to capture it. So maybe we would smart bringing one or two. Because if we hold shift, a little iron home for your fairy friends. I'm sure you could put them to good use and when used on a blaze or blaze spawner so 
I have a feeling we might need to make a few of these. So to test that out, oh yeah, I have the jackpack on now. <laughs> Double jumping uh, makes me fly, <laughs> or jumping at all. Um, so let us just make, let's make three of it. So it was two of those and iron gear, no iron bars, I mean, so that's another six. I have my, can I use this hammer to make plates? Uh, no. Oh, we cannot. Um, there. Gonna hammer half of them. And then we're gonna make this. And then one, two, three. Yeah, doesn't really matter. There. Then we have three of those. And the question is, where should we put those? We could just have it in our inventory for now. And I'm gonna just put you guys in there. Have some stuff in here, I guess. Okay, and then we're going down to another puddle, which we made down here. As you can remember in the last episode, the spawn wasn't really that good. Or one of my, one of my previous episodes, at least I can't remember which one. But uh, yeah, so uh, we are going to be needing to uh, make a small base in there. I'm not sure if Sebastian will end up using this portal too. I'm not sure how what the range is for portal, nether portals. But we we'll head on in. Hopefully we don't die. Uh, okay, and it kind of remembers what happened last time, maybe. Because I remember um, some ghasts shooting at us. So let us just cover up most of the stuff here. Play some torches. And we're gonna place this and remove these because these are just annoying and then oh yeah there's stuff here too okay does the jetpack work here yes it does that is good to know at least so let us just cover this up doesn't look that pretty we can make it prettier in a later a later time now it's just all about surviving. Making sure. And I kind of want to go on this side as well. And that's just so we don't suddenly get a little confused of which direction to go. And then we get teleported back to the overworld. I want a tree tall if possible. There. Of course, now I didn't bring a door. Which maybe would have been good. What about a uh, door stone? Can I type it like that? Or what about stone door? Cobblestone? Cobble. Not sure if there's a mod adding. Oh. Um, and I want to get away from the portal. Ooh. Oh shit, yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, lava flows a lot faster in the nether. And here I thought I, I, could, I could dodge it. <laughs> Uh, no. Burning. Burning. Ouch. It hurts. Stop. Please. So that's why I brought the remaining amount of steaks I have. And then. I do think we are going to have the exit over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a chest here. This is just so we don't need to run there and run off to the base. Because eventually this one could maybe become a ender chest. But for now, a normal chest. Uh, doo -doo -doo. If I fall in lava, I lose all my stuff. That means the flux capacitator... Capacitator? Capaci... Yeah, I'm not going to pronounce that again because you guys are going to bully me. <laughs> uh, the flux bore and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> bully me now. I don't mean it like that. But. Uh, there and let us get out of here. Oh, this is darn cool. Darn cool. Love it. Love it. Of course, there could be some stuff that shoots something. But we want to explore a little around. Just to see what there is. And, oh yeah. I was saw flames like something shooting at us. And I'm like, no. no. That's just my jetpack. Do they have bows? When did skeleton with bows become a thing? Ouch. And I do want to remind you guys that we're playing on 
hard difficulty, so that is why maybe my hearts are dropping a little bit more than usual. But when did Enderman come in the nether? Has this always been a thing? Oh, I can actually get myself some glowstone. Ooh. 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 Nice landing. Glowstone, glowstone. Yay. That sounds like grenade your activeness. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'm loving it. Loving the jetpack. I, I'm scared of heights. And even in games, I'm scared of heights. So I'm, I'm keeping a very, very, very close eye to my hydrogen, guys. Because I am gonna scream. What, what is that? Is it? Oh, it's just a box. A box. <laughs> One of those magma ones. I really should get myself that magnet I've been talking about a few times. You guys suggested it to me and uh, I still haven't made it. I'm actually curious. Can I fight a gas now? Like, easy? There's nothing is really easy, but I can just fly over to you and you're like, you will be defeated. Yes. Oh, okay. Is there another one around? Oh, there you are. Haha, <laughs> judge. Ah, suddenly Nether became a little less scary when you actually can fly around. Ooh, but it's still dangerous. Okay, come here. Let me give you a smack. There, of course, I'm not getting this stuff now, though. But at least now I know I can defeat them at least. Uh, okay, that's a skeleton with an enchantment. But oh, there's a gas over there. Okay, I'm just flying a little around. I have marked this uh, portal. Yes, that is good. I just remembered, like, okay, have I marked it? Is that blue flames? Cool. I really like how the nether looks, like it looks even harder to move around and everything. Could be that there's different biomes, it almost seems like it. But this is cool. Of course, I'm not moving that fast forward, guys, but it's a it's a good starter, right? It's a good starter. Uh, Lordy did uh, actually recommend a potato uh, jetpack, but I haven't checked that one out yet, but... Not sure if that one is better or worse than this one. It sounds worse, but I could be wrong. Okay, now it became very dark in here. Oh yeah, I don't have a gold uh, item on me. So we're not gonna land and say hi. Unless we mine something. Can I? <laughs> Ooh, it's like a horror game. Don't mind me, don't get aggressive at me or anything. I'm just flying around. La, la, la. Just flying around, don't mind me. I'm just gathering some gold so I can be friends with you guys. Because I forgot my crown at home. We are gonna be friends. Creepy sounds. So I'm guessing if I have some sort of golden item. Okay, you want to fight, huh? I like lava palms and everything that's spread around. It's really cool. I like it, and I don't like it. <laughs> okay, let's not land in any sort of lava. Did I even bring wood for a crafting bench? Are you serious? And I guess we can't just press C and craft on the ground. Nope. Um, I'm gonna be right back, guys, and then I go get a crafting bench. All right, guys. So I uh, got a little wood. Uh, and I made some more torches too because I was I saw we were a little short. So we make this one. No, actually wait a second We want to just improve it So it remembers our recipes. So there and then 
we wanted to just make a little gold item. So I'm not sure what is weakest. I guess the boots are the weakest or boots and uh, they kind of give the same armor. So I'm just going to make uh, golden boots because we have a golden helmet. So yes, uh, there, of course, now that I think of it, I could have just brought my uh, golden helmet. Why didn't I <laughs> do that? <laughs> okay, well, uh, I didn't want to damage my crown, you know? My crown needs to be fully healthed. Yeah, so we just made some boots. We just made some boots. Uh, I'm gonna have my iron boots on me still, I think. But we can place some stuff here that we don't really need to bring with us. So there, there. We can bring a little of that. We can put in the most of the torches. Why am I having the hammer with me? That ain't having any purpose. There, there, there. Okay. Let's continue exploring. Uh, actually, give me a sec. <laughs> we want to see on map first if we see any. Oh, there is a fortress over here. So we're going to head this way. Because that's what we're here for. I don't want to spend more time than necessary in uh, the nether. Okay, so this is north. So we need to go northwest. Okay. Not sure if this is a good enough. Ooh, okay, you are uh, angry that I'm flying around. Understandable. This is your home, I guess. Um, so don't mind me. I'm just trying to find a way. I don't want to fly under there. I just don't want to. <laughs> we really have some enchanted stuff going on. Am I even flying the right direction? Doesn't seem like there's any mobs here. Give me a sec. Yeah, I am. The question is just, does it lead? Does it have like a tunnel? Is, are these like tunnels? I'm a little unsure. Do I need to just drill through? Because then this is not the best spot. Then I should actually go back. If I run. Am I going a little faster forward now? I'm not sure. Okay, this was at least not the best route to take, I think. And, oh, maybe over here. Uh, stop shooting at me. Or over here. Of course, I'm never going to find this route again. <laughs> uh, skeletons are my one of my worst enemies because they're ranged. Okay, so I'm never going to find this space again. But again, uh, we will find other ways then. At least, I hope so. And of course, I might be doing a lot of um, nether exploring on my own, of course. So you guys won't come with me every time. And now my big question is just, will this be over us or under us? I think we passed it. I have a feeling it's under us. But again, I'm not sure. And it could be lava pits and so many different things that wants to kill us. I have fire, that means there must be space somewhere. You now what? We switch it to tree. And then we go crazy all over. I just want to bring this. Some quartz, always nice to have. Okay, we have a little hole here. And we have the fortress. Thanks for the fish! Yeah. <laughs> I uh, left them a little present with all the fish from <laughs> the last, uh, or last, last episode, episode 12. Yes. <laughs> okay, I actually want to just bring all the quartz we can and in a way I didn't like the hole right there so oh no let's dig down here okay that's one of those dark skeletons hmm I'm not sure is iron armor good enough 
There's some blazes. I should have made those things ready, shouldn't I? Let me just get a safe place to stand on. And let me just do that. It's just a right click. Okay, it's just a right click, but ouch. Okay, so we got one. Cool. It's wrapped in there. Cool, cool. That's anyway all I want. Got another one. Haha. -ha. Just gonna play some torches around so it's a little brighter here. Because we can try to kill some of you guys too, just looking out for potential enemies. Die. Nope. What if I go one down? And I'm just standing here. What do you guys really drop? Like, because I'm never in nether. But can you guys drop me something that's important and I can be proud of that I got it? Probably just gonna drop me a stone sword or something. How do I actually do the slashing? I, I managed to do it sometimes. Oh, come on. Longest battle ever. Another one? Come on. A bone. There's something laying there. Mine now. Coal. What? What? <laughs> okay. Um. I am the flying master. I never use my two uh, no, my left arm. Uh, but I guess I should just get used to that when I'm doing dungeon dungeoning. <laughs> oh, hello there, everyone. Because you're not too hard to kill as long as you don't hit me. Well, stone sword. Okay, you guys can come up, so that's good to know. This seems to be an end way. It's just, it would be nice to actually get, uh, figure out whether, oh shit. What, what does that do again, the wither? Uh, I'm not sure, but I guess we should heal up before we wither away. Got some gold. Oh, it's nice to just pick up all the resources we can. Really loving the um, block spore. And then the possibility to fly, that is just even a bigger bonus. Okay, there. There's that. There. And let's go to our sword. Let's make our way this way. Okay, they could potentially go on up here. We're friends, right? Stay away from me. I hear a blaze. We brought three of those prisons, so we are definitely gonna be bringing three blazes back. Nope. Gotcha. My question is just how I'm gonna leave this place. Oh, hello. That is very ouch. But like that's gonna kill me. Hmm. Should you bring milk then? Or should you I'm not quite sure. Really? So I'm a nether noob or newbie as I never venture down here. Here, hello. Hello. Uh, excuse me, I'm just trying to make my way through here, but that seems too hard. I feel like iron is a little bit too weak. Okay, they just spawn everywhere. Uh, I think I'm too weak to be here. Am I not? 
got, I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted. That was the main thing. I got what I wanted. Ooh. Attack from above. Ooh. Stay away from me. So, at least now I know there's another fortress there. I have a feeling I... I personally need a lot stronger armor. That I do, because... I'm not the greatest at fighting, so a quantum armor maybe or something that could aid me on not dying uh, could be a great investment. So, at least I got what I wanted. I even got some glowstone, which I am very happy for. Maybe we should just go and grab a little bit more glowstone, actually, when we speak of it. I'm actually gonna make you disappear. If I can. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there. I think I hit it. Okay, so then we're gonna make that disappear. So I felt like it was a little too close. Can you go faster? No? What about a little bit faster? No, it only wants to go fast if it has the chance to kill me. Okay, so. I'm just having on a single, yeah. Ooh, ooh, don't touch the lava. Ooh, open up. And no glowstone. Is there a recipe to make glowstone in this mod pack? Of course, I know if we probably use void or miner and so on, we could probably get it, but is there other ways? What is this? Refined glowstone ingot. I guess that's the only... Yeah, it seems like there's maybe not a direct way to maybe make make it. Glowstone tools? Oh, interesting. Maybe there isn't. I'm not quite sure. Because normally you have the bee, beast mods and everything, but... Not in here. Okay, cool. I'm really loving the jet pack. I am so glad we made it. Okay, there. And uh, whoop. I can bring the rest of the stuff that doesn't need to be here. Uh, the wood, for example, stay. Uh, the rest we could just bring with us. A <laughs> reserve sword in case of something. Oh, yeah, maybe. Just to be on the safe side, we do that. And then we head back home. And, whoop. and then we run up all the way to the top. So, got ourselves almost two stacks of uh, glowstone. Cool. And then we run, 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 run. It's a little adventure episode i guess you can call it that <laughs> at least it's a big adventure for me uh i'm gonna see can i press u and then see what is used for so as you can see like it's used for a lot of different recipes to make different things from potion brewing to there's a lot of potion potion brewing how much is there okay, there's, there's so much that going through it all is just gonna be a waste of time but uh, we can also make a builder's tea with some leaves, water, and milk. But then one you need that one with the basin, I think, and then a mixer. And that can make us some tea, some lovely tea. You can also make us some lava if we have the blaze cake. I'm not sure if they eat the cake. Um, so that requires lava in a... Maybe they don't eat it. Because that's in a way a way to make lava then. That would be cool. Kind of want to test that out. To see if stones can be turned into lava. And if it's an infinity uh, way of doing it as long as you have these. That would be cool. Uh, we can make chocolate. That would be cool. Make a chocolate factory. <laughs> um, make some... Uh, Traumatic component that seems important as it's these glowstone and pow power powdered obsidian and so on 
and we can also make brass by doing this and this i think this is the only way to get brass through the crate mod maybe so um yeah we can automate stuff that would be cool but i, I want to see what this one does um handheld blaze sapper noble gadget for play placing or exchanging blocks at a distance cool and there's different versions huh. and that can be shadow steel mysterious conversation uh, conversion refined okay what is what is shadow steel used for shadow steel casing okay and is that just a decorative block i'm not sure but we're gonna find that out uh, i also forgot to mention that i built it um block placer and i'm just going to show you guys the recipe quickly block placer as i've been getting a few requests to build one so i made one so it's just simply made like so some andesite a dropper uh, iron ingot and a block of redstone and it simply has one inventory you can have up to a stack and it doesn't require any power it just requires either a signal or not a single, so you can have it on always on, and then we just auto place when uh, this one gets broken. So that's cool. I'm not sure it's full yet, so it's probably not breaking it anymore. But in case we were to use more latex, which we definitely are, um, I'm actually for once safe in our uh, base here, so I actually don't have to worry about sleeping if I'm staying inside the base. Oh, okay, a tree. <laughs> uh, and i better just take the jack back off so uh yeah cool uh we got to the nether i got to gather a few things um i'm a little i'm not sure what we should do next i th do think i want to play a little bit more with the create mod as long as nothing else comes up um want to maybe be building some more in this direction somewhere I uh, want to be testing out the blaze burner see if we can make some lava. That would actually be very cool. And uh, stuff. Yes. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of maybe what I should do or try out, make sure to leave it in the comments down below and kiss my golden boots because they're fabulous. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, until next time, guys, stay safe. And bye.